there's been a new addition to the family. And I'm out here cleaning it today because it's shops closed and I'm out over in the maintenance area over by where it's stored. And I was like, well, you know, I could sit out here and listen to music all day long or I could tell the world about this car because I really love it. So here we are. What we have here is a 1982 Datsun 280ZX. <laughs> and I'll tell you what, I love this car. It's uh it's it's kind of interesting. So it's white, it's five-speed manual, it's got the tan on tan interior, T-tops, absolutely money, straight six. Um, if you're not familiar with it, we'll go through piece by piece, I'm sure. And uh, I originally found it just north of Richmond, Virginia. And the original owner, she she was a flight stewardess at the airport over there. And she's had the car the entire time. It's got 140 miles on the clock, 140,000 miles on the clock. And it's pretty great outside of having some 40 year old kinks, you know, cracks in the dashes. But I mean, a 40 year old doesn't have cracks in the dashes. No, I'm kidding. Um, so it's the intent for this car is to kind of put it back together. And when I say put it back together, I mean kind of put it back to, to period correctness, right? So put the shocks back, make it handle appropriate, keep fairly everything. Um, I'll go into detail about what maintenance has been done to it so far. But it's, it's really great. And there's kind of a funny, funny story to it. So my parents had actually had a 280ZX um, back in the day. And it was that root beer brown. My dad painted it pearl white flip flop. <laughs> I buy this car and I'm like, no shit dad, there I am. And I buy this thing. He's like, yeah, I love my blah, blah, blah. Pop the trunk. Turns out this car was originally uh, painted. The original paint color was the ruby brown. So I've somehow managed to create the, the you know, extra universe. This is how I know we're living in a simulation kind of shit. <laughs> so, so there's that. But uh, yeah, as far as the maintenance goes in the car so far, again, runs and drives great. The flipping cruise control works. Dude, this thing's got the original stereo. All the power shit works. Um, it's great. I really, really love this car. So the, the original owner, the lady, she had it last tagged in like 06. She let it sit in a barn. Um, some guy sold it uh, for her because she's, well, she's on the other side and uh, redid the brake lines, redid the brakes, new calipers, uh, new fuel system, pump tank lines. And I don't think, actually, I don't think it has bay lines, but it's got a new pump tank. And I can't love this car any harder. Like it's just, it just cruises so cool. And I'm supposed to be cleaning the car, not just talking about it, but I can't seem to do two things at once. Anyway, uh, yeah, that's where we're at. Uh, the spark plugs and so we did plugs, wires, New distributor cap, new road, new distributor rotor, new coil. Um, I have a new coil boot, but that's a different story. Because, funny story, if you order the the main coil wire from the coil to the distributor cap, it comes with this weird L-shaped bend to it, and uh, it was it just made the wire taunt. So found <laughs> found an original straight straight boot. And it, uh, it's from Jags, funny enough. Uh, they didn't send me a sticker, which I'm kind of upset about. <laughs> but the, uh, it was like 15 bucks for shipping, which was fucking ridiculous for a $4 part. But hey, the parts for this thing are relatively inexpensive. I mean, the whole rear suspension uh, setup, which will be redone. And the, I want to put like shocks and coils. Oh man, speaking of shocks and coils on this thing, uh, before those can get done, I'm looking at a set of rubber. And although it's got the OE rubber size and I'm gonna keep everything as OE as possible, the 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 tires that are on this car, now yeah, they've got some weather checking because, well, I mean, it's been sitting in a barn. However, the last one was replaced in 1989. So it's on 1989 rubber. And uh, I mean, I drove it home because that's what I'm gonna do. And it, uh, so it, needs, some, it needs some rubber. I'm gonna restore the interior. It does have a panel that decided it was going to like mm, degrade, but it's got the original um, t spare tire and flare bottle. <laughs> just everything about this car is just really cool, man. So we'll be going through it piece by piece. I uh, just recently decided I was gonna, I don't know, show the world about it because 
I figure it's a 40 year old car and I'm a car hoarder so I'm gonna keep it for another 40 years and I don't know maybe at some point my children would like to be like hey this is what happened my mom and dad restored this car so here we are we have this car it's amazing um, I will post a lot more about it the maintenance we've done on the car so far um, is just been kind of I don't want to say regular it's just, kinda, it just, it's just the things you do right Went through, replace of the fluids, engine, transmission, rear diff. Uh, dumped a can of sea foam in there just to clean it out. Again, plugs, wires, distro, cover cap, stuff like that. But, oh, the way we found the car. So, I've always wanted one. I've always wanted like a 300ZX or a 240ZX because they're just ah, it's cool, right? Like, I like JDM cars, it's what I do. Uh, and wow, this had 40 years worth of scuzz on it. That is satisfying to remove them and I'll let you know. Um, so I've always wanted one. I think they're amazing. I think they're adorable. They're just kind of a weird one-off thing that Nissan did. I mean, Nissan's got kind of that Japanese, you know, mentality that we're going to do anything. We're going to do it right. And I think they nailed it on this one. It's so cool so cool i mean it's got cruise control it's got theater interior lighting ladies and gentlemen power windows and locks reminder if this is an 82 and the coolest part is everything's analog there's no computer that's doing anything with this it's a vacuum to turn on the air to turn on the the cruise control the dinger for the door which i have disabled at this point because i took the battery out because i wanted to actually like have a breeze because it's sweltering night now is uh it's an analog little dinger it's like ding like everything here is just cool i like i like analog stuff i like i like the technology i like the technology of the things that we have now that we didn't have computers doing before us and not saying that you know i'm against the you know, computers or anything but i just think the analog technology is really neat that there's a little spring going back and forth dinging when the door opens i i, I find that amazing so uh there's that yeah oh and then back to the story on how the found, found the car so was just perusing the internet because that's what my internet looks like. <laughs> that's everything between like Subaru Sandbar Utes to, you know, Nissans to trailers for the car so I could tow it to the track to, I mean, all sorts of stuff. So it was listed as a 300Z. And I was like, hmm, 300Z. Man, it wasn't too bad. I mean, as far as the price goes, it was fairly around the corner. I mean, it was like, 45, 50 miles away. And I was like, oh, I don't want to go look at this car. Because I'm looking at the back of this car and we're like, that's not a 300Z. Like it actually says 280ZX in the back. <laughs> so I'm not here to tell anybody how to read, but here we are. So go over the car, go over to look at it. And yeah, I mean, it's a, it's a 40 year old car. It's It's got some, some, but I mean, really, it's just absolutely clean. It still has the parking tag from the airport from where the lady worked. I think that's money. Like, it's just in really good, like, everything was clearly taken care of. Oh, and the air conditioning was converted from our whatever gonna give you cancer to our whatever gonna give you less cancer. So that's really cool. So I'll actually be able to have functioning air conditioning as soon as I, oh God, uh, as soon as I get this thing kind of tagged and rolling which hopefully will be fairly fairly soon. Yeah, like even the dial on the stock, it's not like, I mean, it's got clicks like, but the the visual representation, instead of having the, the visual clicks, it's got this like blue shaded line. Oh, I love this thing, man. Like it's just, ah, it's, I, I, I really love this car. So yeah, gonna be going through it, going to, document all these things just getting it uh getting it cleaned up now not that it needs to be cleaned to be worked on but it's uh it feels better when you drive it when you're not like oh that's 1993 i'm touching mm -hmm. end of the day update uh, the interior is significantly cleaner much better uh there are some extremely fragile parts i noticed this is exceptionally fragile uh, this material these little guys too Although, check this, yo. I don't know why I love those sign of things. Um, exceptionally fragile. 
There's some dash cracking. She's super dry. So I'm gonna try and find something to kind of liven that up. Moisture, moisturizer. Everybody needs a good moisturizer. Um, there is some degradation here on this front fascia around the knobs. We try and see if we can bring back that back to life. It's a handful of scuffs over there. Shift knobs, just a dirty old shift knob. Um, but yeah, we got some mild discoloration right there. Nothing too wild. Hopefully, I'll get into like some door sills and some door cards next time. Or even my favorite thing in the world. God, I don't know why I love this thing, but I do. I really do love that thing. Uh, these tees. I'll tell you what, these tees, so money. So period correct. I love it. Yeah. So that's where we're at on the inside today. Till next time.